Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. The new Tesla Model X is hiding an understated but incredible secret. Tesla places 45 gigawatt hours LFP battery order from CATL, enough for nearly 800,000 Model 3 and Model Y. Tesla recalls about 2,700 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles over a suspension issue. And, Tesla Sentry Mode Remote Live View with Voice Broadcast can scare people around. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The Tesla Model X may be the company's flagship crossover SUV, but the vehicle has rarely gotten the spotlight this year. Even when Tesla refreshed the Model S and Model X, most of the attention was evidently focused on the Model S and its plaid variant, which proceeded to destroy every comparable gas-powered vehicle in its class. But as it turns out, Tesla has also made some notable improvements to the new Model X long range. The company has just not been highlighting them yet. Fortunately, and as shared online by electric vehicle enthusiast, Tempermanent, Tesla's application documents to the EPA have provided some hints as to what exactly changed between last year's Model X series and this year's refreshed flagship SUV. It should be noted that Tesla's filings for the 2021 Model X are only true for the long-range variant, which has already started deliveries. Filings for the Model X Plaid, which features three electric motors and near supercar performance, are yet to be made available. This is quite different from Tesla's filings for the 2020 Model X, which represented both the base Model X Long Range Plus and the top tier Model X performance. A look at the documents shows that the refreshed Model X is lighter than its predecessor, with the new flagship SUV having a curb weight of 5,219 pounds compared to the 2020 Model X Long Range Plus that had 5,437 pounds. This 4% approximate weight reduction seems to be partly due to the fact that the new Model X battery is around 14% lighter than last year's Model X Long Range Plus. Tesla's filings note that the new Model X is fitted with a battery that weighs 1,183 pounds. In comparison, the Model X Long Range Plus featured a battery that weighed 1,377 pounds. Despite being lighter, however, the new Model X Long Range is about 30% more powerful than its Long Range Plus predecessor. The new Model X now features two AC permanent magnet motors, with the front being rated at 243 kilowatts and the rear being rated at 248 kilowatts. This is quite an improvement over the Model X Long Range Plus, which featured a front AC permanent magnet motor rated at 180 kilowatts and a rear AC induction motor rated at 189 kilowatts. What is quite interesting here is that Tesla's filings for the new Model X are so far only true for the flagship crossover SUV's base variant. Needless to say, Tesla's filings for the Model X Plaid would likely be even more compelling and it would likely show even more drastic improvements compared to the already stellar 2020 Model X performance. For context, last year's Model X performance was listed with a front AC permanent magnet motor rated at 151 kilowatts and a rear AC induction motor rated at 273 kilowatts. It would not be a surprise if the Model X Plaid's three electric motors end up blowing these specs out of the water. Moving to the next update, Tesla places 45 gigawatt hours LFP battery order from CATL, enough for nearly 800,000 Model 3 and Model Y. It appears that Tesla is now making the necessary preparations for a serious ramp of its Model 3 and Model Y production in Gigafactory Shanghai next year. As per recent reports from China, Tesla has reportedly placed an order for 45 gigawatt hours worth of lithium iron phosphate batteries from CATL, one of its key battery partners. LFP batteries are currently being used in the Model 3 Standard Range Plus that is produced in Gigafactory Shanghai, and the cells are reportedly being used to power the Model Y Standard Range as well. Considering that the Model 3 Standard Range Plus is reportedly fitted with a 55 kWh battery 
and the Model Y standard range, is equipped with a 60 kilowatt hours pack. The 45 gigawatt hours order from CATL could correspond to nearly 800,000 vehicles, local Chinese news outlet 36 Krypton noted. Producing nearly 800,000 standard range vehicles from Gigafactory Shanghai could effectively raise Tesla's deliveries next year, potentially allowing the company to comfortably deliver over a million vehicles in 2022. The reports, however, note that Tesla's battery push would not only be focused on its China-based operations. Citing industry sources, the local media outlet also stated that Tesla's Gigafactory Nevada facility would also be expanding its capacity to over 40 gigawatt hour next year. Interestingly enough, the industry sources suggested that both Panasonic and LG Chemicals would be involved with the expansion of the US-based battery facility. Moving to the next update, Tesla recalls about 2,700 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles over a suspension issue. Tesla has issued a new recall this week so that the front suspension lateral link on certain Model 3 and Model Y vehicles can be inspected. According to the details of the recall, the link is attached to the vehicle's sub-frame using two fasteners. If these fasteners were not secured to the correct specifications at the factory, they may become loose over time, causing the lateral link to separate from the sub-frame. The fix is a simple visit to Tesla service, or likely mobile service, where they will inspect and secure the fasteners to the correct specification if required. If there is any damage from a loose or separated fastener, Tesla will replace any damaged components. The recall impacts certain Model 3 vehicles, built between January 2019 and April 2021, and certain Model Y vehicles, built between March 2020 and June 2021. The automaker describes the problem in a filing with the NHTSA as follows. The front suspension lateral link fasteners may loosen, allowing the lateral link to separate from the sub-frame. And it describes the solution as follows. Tesla service will tighten or replace the lateral link fasteners as necessary, free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed December 24, 2021. Owners may contact Tesla customer service. Tesla's number for this recall is SB2131003. While the notification letters are due by the end of the year, Tesla has already started sending emails to notify affected owners. Moving to the last update, Tesla Sentry Mode Remote Live View with Voice Broadcast can scare people around. A Tesla Model Y owner recently gave the community a closer look at Sentry Mode's live camera access feature, complete with its voice broadcast system. As shown by Tesla enthusiast Desmond Oliver, Sentry Mode's live camera feature allows owners to view their vehicle's surroundings via the Tesla mobile app. Based on the Model Y owner's short clip, the feature does more than give drivers access to sentry cameras. The live camera access also allows owners to talk through their car's speakers using the Tesla mobile app. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Step away. Step away. Pretty cool. Great feature. I love it. In the video he shared, Desmond could change the sound of his voice through the app. The voice change done by the app can surely frighten the people around. The feature certainly seems to add an extra layer of security for Tesla owners. Sentry mode has already proven more than capable of catching vandals and robbers in the past. The live camera access might prevent vandalism or robberies in the future. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.